Hey guys, my name is Josh, and today we're going to be going over the recently announced guest access in Microsoft Teams. Uh, this will be a very brief demo on a few things. Uh, first off, we're going to look at how to enable Teams in your Office 365 tenant. Then we're going to look at what it's like to invite an external guest to a team. Then we're going to look what it's like to receive the invitation and join the team as the external guest. And lastly, we're going to look at what it's like to switch accounts between your regular Teams account and your guest access account. And if you're confused about what that was and thought that they were one and the same account, we'll get to that in a few minutes. All right. So first up, let's switch over here to our Office 365 Admin Center. We're going to enable guest access for Microsoft Teams in our tenant. This is the Get CS Josh tenant, and I am going to be inviting somebody from a, uh, a good friend, Michael Tressler's UC Now tenant. So before we do that invitation, let's go over to Services and Add-ins, and we're going to go to Microsoft Teams down here, and right in the middle, we've got Settings by User and License Type. For the select user license type you want to configure, we'll click the drop down and click on guest. You can see that it is off for the tenant. Guest access is a no go at this point. We're going to toggle that, turn it on, and click save. And just like that, we have enabled guest access in our Office 365 tenant. Perfect. Now let's pull up the Teams. This is our desktop client on a Windows machine. We have the Get CS Josh tenant that we are logged into down here. I am signed in as Josh, and I am going, we have a number of teams over here, as you can see, Teams Test, Skype for Business, Beer, and Guest Access Demo. While all these teams are very important in their own right, we're going to focus on Guest Access Demo for today. If we click on the More Options ellipsis on the, at the team level, not the channel level, we see we can view team, add channel, add members. That's what we want. We'll click on add members. This is a very similar process to what we would have done uh, for any other situation. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually demo this with an account called Stimpy, as in Ren and Stimpy, at s4blab.org. However, I did this earlier in testing for this demo so the experience is a little different. So before I add Stimpy to this list, I'm going to add my work address to this list so you can see what it's like from scratch. I'm going to type in my work email address, integrationpartners.com. And the tenant recognizes that this account is not part of this tenant. It recognizes it as being external. So it automatically classifies it as a guest. It says, do you want to add as a guest? We click on that because we do. Now it puts the username with the guest next to it. Now let's add in the user that we do intend. Since I did add in Stimpy earlier and then removed him and all this other good stuff, my tenant is already aware that the user is a external user and they label it as guest automatically as I start typing. So we'll just click add there. Now we're going to click add up here. It adds each user, spins for a moment over here. And then it will finish up showing us that they have been added in as guests to our tenant, to this team. We'll click on close. All right. If we really quickly take a look at our team members, view team, there's me, there's my two guests. Perfect. All right. Look at that. Stimpy just got an email. This email says you have been added to a team in Microsoft Teams. Josh added you to the guest access demo. Great. What happens when you've received an invite to be a guest in somebody else's team? Well, we can click on open Microsoft Teams here. And what this is going to do, once I actually click it, there we go tries to open up a browser window and then says, oh wait, do you wanna switch apps to Microsoft Teams? So we're gonna say yes. And I am currently signed in as uh, Get CS Josh. Ah, let's first sign out as Get CS Josh. That did not quite work how we thought. So we're signing out. We're gonna close that browser window. And now that we are signed out, perfect. We'll go ahead and close that. 
we are going to go back to that invite email and click that one more time. There we go. Open Microsoft Teams. Yes. Same experience, browser window. Oh, something went wrong. Let's restart. OK, so now we're going to sign in as Stimpy to Microsoft Teams. Remember, we are testing the experience of what it's like to join the team that we have been invited to as an external guest. We click Sign In. It's loading Microsoft Teams, launching the app. Now, remember, the Stimpy user account belongs to the s4blab.org domain, and it is in the UC Now tenant right down here. We're in that tenant. If we click on the user account and see our options, we can see that we are now part of UC Now, which we are already a part of, but we're also a guest in this new account. Now, you might be confused and think, well, what happens if we have to switch accounts and it doesn't just stay within the same login? How do we know when we get updates or new activity in the other account? Great question. Much the same way you see this little notification right here and down here, if you are signed into one account and gets a notification in the other account, you will see the activity notification down there. You simply click here, click on the other account where the notification is, and you will be brought through the switching process to go to the other account. Now, I'm having to re-sign in because I'm doing this setting up for the first time. But once I'm set up for the first time and I'm all logged in, the switching back and forth will not keep prompting me for my password. Uh, this is just kind of a preliminary step for getting set up. You'll notice now that I've switched, I'm now in the Get CS Josh tenant. This is not the tenant that Stimpy belongs to. Stimpy is here as a guest. That's where we are. So we are now in our Teams, uh, teams test and Get Access demo test. Uh, this is where I've been added as a guest. This is this is how we are added in as an external user to somebody else's team. And we can have conversations in here and do several other things. I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs about what you can and cannot do as a guest. There's great blog posts on it. I would refer you to uh, Matt Landis. Matt Landis has a great blog post out there about the things you can and cannot do as a guest in another person's team. Um, at this rate, what I want to show you is now that we are signed into this account as a guest, if we click back on our user account here and we click back on our main account, the UC Now account, it goes through the switching process, but it is not prompting me for my password. It's just switching and I'm back, back in my regular account. And then I go and I do it again, back to the guest account. And I can go back and forth all day long, switching between accounts. It takes only a few seconds. And we get notifications when we're not in, logged into a certain account to let us know there's activity waiting for us. And that, that is how you do it. That is how a external user is added as a guest to your team, how you collaborate, how you send the invitation, how you accept an invitation, and how you switch between accounts. I hope this was super useful for you guys. I hope that you have great luck and enjoy the whole brand new guest access experience in Microsoft Teams. And I am sure we'll see changes to it coming up over the next several months as Microsoft has been very good at updating things at a very quick cadence. So uh, stay tuned for more good Microsoft Teams news from the product team. Um, and we will see, uh, see you guys for the next how-to video on Teams. Thank you and adios.